seconds and counting. Leader to Longhorn. Leader to Longhorn, you read. Loud and clear, leader. Right on station. Minus 15 and counting. Secure objective. Roger, leader. My pleasure. Somebody coming in with a deposit. I see him later. I'm gonna drop down there and validate his parking ticket. Good shooting, Longhorn. Stay on station till we hit checkpoint two. All right, let's go. Go, go, go. Move it. Stay down there, Grandpa, and count to 500. Madness, mayhem, anarchy, that's all it amounts to. Bunch of ordinary people, farmers, merchants. Turned into killers and thieves. They've actually killed people. Three different states. That's the theory anyway. Except nobody's been able to prove it yet. Captain, does this uh, particular group have a name? Yes, they call themselves the Posse Magistratus. It's a fancy Latin name for power to the official. Right now, their goal seem to be to get control of Andreas County. Detach it completely from any state or federal regulations. That's why this assignment came directly from Washington. From Uncle Sam to the Big Blue. There's been a series of very sophisticated bank robberies involving a World War II fighter with a beefed-up cannon, commando teams, automatic weapons. Washington seems to think Posse Magistratus might be involved. Oh, well, maybe I'm missing something here, but why should a group like this go around robbing banks? Well, we wish we knew. That's what's scary. They seem to be collecting a war chest for something that could blow the lid off the whole country. Oh, Miss O'Connell, good morning. I'm sorry I'm late, Captain. I got tied up on an overseas call. Not at all. Your timing is perfect. I was just mentioning the federal government's concern. Uh, gentlemen, I'd like to present Miss Sarah O'Connell, United States Attorney from Washington. I'll save time and let you explain. I like him better when he doesn't smile. I am, as the captain stated, supervising prosecutor for the United States Attorney's Office. I'm here representing the government to make sure that you adhere to all rules of evidence. Excuse me. Yes. It's Ms. O'Connell. You must be Cheney, the pilot, Cheney. Oh, you've done your homework, haven't you? <laughs> I just want to say, uh, on behalf of all of us, how pleased we are that Washington saw fit to send such an attractive representative, and we pledge to do our best to follow each and every decree set down by our forefathers in the United States Constitution. <laughs> Frank, please. That's quite all right, Captain. Mr. Cheney has a sense of humor. So do I. I think we'll get along just fine. Fire up and see how fast you can get over to Andreas County. The bank was just robbed in Masonville. World War II fighter, commando team, same MO as the posse. We're on our way.
Oh, come on, cute. I saw the way you were looking at her. Ooh, naughty. <laughs> you want to make a little bet? Uh, she makes us do everything by the numbers. Uh, me jump through her hoop. Hey, this is Frank Cheney you're talking about, remember? Oh. Thunder, this is Braddy. Go ahead, Thunder Command. I want you to divert toward Running Springs. A plane matching the description of the World War II fighter was spotted descending in that area. 35 degrees, 30 minutes by 120 degrees, 30 minutes. Roger, Captain, we understand and we'll comply. There's no sign of any aircraft, Frank. Just a lot of farmland. What do we got down there? Has a windsock. Now, why would a farmer need a windsock? Cows don't fly very often. Well, something just flew in there. Its engine will still be hot. Should show up on the thermograph here. Mm. What's it look like? Well, unless they're making cows with wings, I'd say we got ourselves an airplane, boss. Here we go. Morning. Pretty fancy flying machine. You own this place? If I did, I'd sell out and I'd buy me a timeshare on every tropical island I came across. Is he on the round? Yeah, that's him. Good afternoon. Gentlemen are wearing badges, but I don't make the uniform. Blue Thunder. We're chartered by the federal government. It's a new one on me. My name's Sheriff Tenney, Kyle C. Tenney. What can I do for you? Well, Sheriff and CEO, we're looking for a World War II fighter that was using a bank robbery at Masonville. We came down here because there's a plane in your barn. Obviously, it's the wrong one. Yeah, I, I doubt they used crop dusters in World War II. No, I don't suppose they did. Well, Officer Cheney, good investigator, wouldn't leave until he'd had a first-hand look at what he came for. Isn't that right? She is, gentlemen, in all her glory. It's a gutless wonder, but I couldn't run the ranch without it. Well, wouldn't have been much help at Iwo Jima. At Iwo? Or Guadalcanal, or Saipan, or Tinian, or any other place that needed heavy firepower, no. Wouldn't have been much good. How did they know that I've got an airplane in my barn? Jeff, I don't trust that guy. Yeah, excuse me, Frank. That's the second time you called me Jeff O today. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I promised. Hey, what can I say? It just kind of fits you. Just another frustrated observer. Oh, look, I've had six, maybe seven observers, and out of the whole bunch, you're the best. That's why I requested you when the Blue Thunder unit was formed. Hey, I know that, Frank, and I appreciate that, honest. It's just that Jaffo to me sounds like some alien in some 50 science fiction movie. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, I am Jaffo. I come from the planet Krington to vaporize the Frank Cheney. 
Captain, there's a guy here by the name of Jaffo. We're going to have to put this conversation on hold, Jaffo. We just found what we're looking for. Observation. What's that? Hiding. This is great. Now we're a city target. In Ten seconds, that guy is gonna be flying up our nose. And in 30 seconds, we'll be out of fuel. Frank. Frank! Thank you, thank you. And the one, and the two, and the... Thunder, are you okay? Right. Yeah, we're okay. We're flying on fumes. We saw the smoke, thought it was you. That fortunately was the fighter. Pilot bailed out. You see the chute? There it is. We got it, Frank. Well, we've got to set down. Take off after the pilot and nail him. Roger and out. He's off road. Let's get Junior.
Let's go get them. Do you read? Terrific. No juice at all. The battery took a hit. Shall we? I don't think it was just a coincidence that Bearcat came for us when it did. Jaffa, get on the databank. See what you can find on Kyle Tenney. You sheriff? You think he was the one who sick that fighter on us? Yeah. I don't think he uses that plane just to cruise his ranch, either. What makes you say that? Well, did you see the projections under the wing? Yeah. What about them? They look like gun mounts to me. You don't need guns to look for lost cows. Here we go. Kyle C. Tenney, ex-Colonel U.S. Army, served in Korea and served in Vietnam. Came up through the ranks, Airborne Paratroop Battalion, Special Forces, lots of decorations, citations, terrific service record. Honorable discharge. Retired Fort Ord five years ago. Military man of the Corps. E Wu, Saipan, Tinian, Guadalcanal, any place else they need the firepower. This guy sounds like he still thinks he's in the army. Maybe he is. His own army. Posse Magistratus. I have a feeling the ex colonel's in this up to his insignia. All I have to do is prove it. No, I will not ask a judge for a search warrant for Sheriff Tenney. For one thing, no judge would grant it. Talking about sight and sound surveillance on a law officer, Frank. Think about that. What are you that. talking about? I told you about the gun mounts on the plane. A plane, which you found by doing an unauthorized thermograph on Tenney's I'm bar. Sorry. Now, that's I, I not by the I disagree with you, counsel. I'm sorry. There was a bank robbery. I was in pursuit. That validates the thermograph. Now, all I need is a warrant to continue the investigation. You know what the problem is? You have absolutely nothing to link Sheriff Tenney with any wrongdoing. And without that probable cause, any evidence uncovered by surveillance is inadmissible Don't in court. Don't you see that these people are dangerous? That they are potential killers? That they're up to something serious and we have to find out what it is? Of course I realize that, and I hope you do find out what it is. I'm not the enemy. I'm here to make this case work if it comes to trial. Counsel, if this case comes to trial, I hope it's not because of a murder we might have prevented. Not too good, huh? Turn me down flat. Frank, uh, we were a little thin on this one. Yeah, all you're doing is playing a hunch here, you know? That's right. My gut tells me these people are dangerous. There are human lives at stake. As long as I feel that way, I've got to do something about it. Boys, I've got a terrific idea. Listen up.
don't. Could I have a light beer, please? Sissy stuff. I guess he's not as tough as he looks. Different strokes for different folks. Keep the change. I said it's a sissy streak, boy. Maybe you're right. Yeah, that looks a lot tougher. Interested in a job? Maybe. I think you're exactly what my boss is looking for. Was that a lucky guess? I've been tracking it since you pulled into the uh, parking garage. <laughs> you enjoy playing spy, Cheney? Well, that depends on who I'm spying on. You wanted to see me. I assume that had something to do with the professional aspects of this case? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I've been doing a little digging, and I thought you should see what I come up with. In Almeria County, Suspected members of the posse magistratus hold the following offices. A sheriff, two positions on the board of supervisors, a district court judge, and chairman of the board of education. And a counselor, they're following a blueprint to taking over power on the county level. But there's nothing illegal about any citizen running for and being elected to an office. Unless they were elected by stuffing ballots and payoffs. Those allegations were investigated and rejected. By officials who are also posse members. Oh, wait, there's more. Look at these. The more I dig into this thing, the more I see how far this decay has spread. In Nebraska, an IRS auditor. In Louisiana, a state representative. In Kentucky, a sheriff. What are these, Cheney? These are pictures of officials who have died in the last year by accident or homicide, all under suspicious circumstances, and all of them were strong opponents of their state's versions of the posse magistratus. I guess I haven't made myself clear. I'm on your side. I don't like those people any more than you do. But if there are charges to be pressed, they have to be based on facts and not supposition. I'm tired of knocking myself out on cases only to have them thrown out of court. I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. And I have a lot of work to do, so you'll have to excuse me. Hey, uh, why don't I take you to dinner? Because I can pick a sandwich up and eat it at my desk. Thanks, anyway. O'Connell, I'm going to get that warrant out of you. And I will come up with hard facts. I don't doubt that for a moment, Cheney. I think you're the kind of man who, sooner or later, manages to get exactly what he wants. Good night. Last operation brought us nearly $30,000. It's just back on good financial footing. But we'll have a huge outlay for that new plane. Well, in order to obtain our assault objective, that's what we need. Assault objective? You make it sound like a training maneuver. Exactly. All our training for the last few months has been directed towards this operation. So, 
we make our kill, then we can devote all our energy to taking over the state. flashlight. I can't see that timing chain on that tractor. This looks like a tool shed. Uh, nope. Looks like the biggest arsenal I've seen since the Marine Raiders. Marines, huh? Yep. Gunnery sergeant. Well, sergeant, you said you could fix the tractor for me. That's what I want you to do. Get busy. Yes, sir. Sergeant. Yes, sir. You look familiar to me. Where'd you serve? Well, by the time you make gunny, you serve just about every place the Marines can send a man. I know what it is. You look like that old football player, a uh, linebacker, Batowski, that's it. Some people say there's a slight resemblance. <laughs> that guy was the meanest thing on two legs. They said he had a temper, wouldn't quit. Said he'd run over his own grandmother just to make a tackle. He got a lot of bad press. He's really a nice guy. Butowski, a nice guy? Yeah. <laughs> a nice guy. Come off it. <laughs> I do not have a bad temper. It's incredible. This guy's got enough firepower for a small country. Great work, guys. Ooh, this should do it. Why don't you gentlemen make out the case report? You want to make out that report? No, man, you make it out. You were where the action was. Hey. I'm looking for a report form. If you clean up that mess, you might find it. This isn't a mess. It's just lived in. Yeah, by a bunch of pack rats. Look, you keep your desk the way you want it, I'll keep mine the way I want it, okay? Okay, but while we're at it, I want to tell you that last punch you threw in the bar was absolutely unnecessary. Yeah, I know. Now, Ski said he overheard them talking about making an assault, making a kill. Now, with that kind of weaponry, that could be some mean action. Now, Captain, I know if we arrest him now, he'd be out on bail in a matter of hours. So if we're going to find out what the posse is up to, we've got to let him play it through with me right on his tail. It's a dangerous game, Frank. Uh, sir, look, whatever they're up to, it's going to happen fast, real fast. Ski thinks Tenny might have recognized him. Now, since Ski has vanished, Tenny's bound to suspect something. That's why I need that search warrant to find out what they're up to. You're right, Cheney. I'll call a judge and get your warrant. You know something, Counselor? Sooner or later, I knew you'd see it my way. Like I said, so did I.
You're looking sharp. Real sharp. There's not a police force or a National Guard unit that can stop us. I guess you all know we're ready. What does that whisper about, Jeffo? There they are. Well, we'll just take it down behind this ridge. Activate the ferry mics. Put on the record mode. Roger. We'll rendezvous at checkpoint, Juliet, at 0900 hours. In 1600 hours, we'll be done. We'll have made the world sit up and take notice. Well, whatever it is they're up to, it's happening today. We're too close to power lines. We should uh, clear that ridge if we want to get a direct pickup. Can't get any closer. They're bound to spot us. Let me try to shift position. This is our chance to show our enemies that there's no place where they can ever be safe. You know the procedure for infiltration. You know what to wear and how to conceal your weapon. You will be highly vulnerable when and our gutless friend, Councilman Zakarian. I can't get it clean, too much static. We'll have to have police protection. We'll be in the middle of his speech in MacArthur Park. They're planning to assassinate one of LA's city councilmen. Listen to me, the chief of police, or his advisors. He's going ahead with a speech on schedule. That should come as a surprise. No. The FBI's on the landline, sir. They want to know the status of Blue Thunder. Uh, tell them we've been cleared to assist our commanders at Apex. We're waiting for validation on a tactical alert. We met that on hold. I got here as soon as I could. What happened? Well, everything's coming to a head. Seems the posse's going to try to assassinate City Councilman Zakarian. Why? Who knows? He's giving a speech on equal rights. He's as liberal as you can get, and he hates the posse magistratus. Well, can you protect him? No, he won't cooperate. He's got some macho thing about not being intimidated by... Captain, he's gonna be at the park in 12 minutes. I'd like to get airborne. All right, go ahead, all of you, but don't do anything till we get confirmation right. from Metro, okay? Come on, please. Lock it up. Councilman's being a hero again, so I guess it's up to us. Frank, I think there's something you ought to hear. separate the digital response with the APL microprocessor, which I think is a better uh, method than the custom microcode for each application, right? Well, of course. Okay. And you will see there is a difference. You also know that the governors will be highly vulnerable when they're making their speeches at the Queen Mary and our gutless friend, Councilman Zakarian. Whether he likes it or not, we'll have to have police protection. So right at the time of our assault, He'll be in the middle of his speech in MacArthur Park. Making their speeches at the Queen Mary? I don't think he was talking about the councilman. God. Punch into the city's event calendar to find out if anything special is going on at the Queen Mary. Authorization just came down for a tactical alert. Metro's sending three SWAT teams and 100 men. Blue Thunder, this is command. You read, Blue Thunder? Captain, listen to me. Jaffo's just been piecing something together. And I think we're covering the wrong target. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen of the press, before we tour the Queen Mary, it will be my pleasure to introduce you to the governors. But before I do that, I'd like to thank this wonderful high school band. They're a fine group of fine young people. Let's give them a hand. Gentlemen, you're about to become a part of history. Lock and load. Janie, what am I supposed to do? Metro's got 100 men scrambling to MacArthur Park, and you're trying to tell me you think the hit's going down someplace else. The tape mentioned the Queen Mary. The governors of three western states are there right now. Every one of them has spoken out against paramilitary groups like Tenney's. Suddenly you're an expert on political science, huh? All I'm asking is that you let me take a look. All right, Frank, you hold your course till I clear this with Apex. You know we can't do anything without their authorization. Sure I will. Rolling Thunder. Cheney to Rolling Thunder. Come in. Yo, Frank. I want you to divert. I repeat, I want you to divert. I think the hit's gonna be at the Queen Mary. Put it down to the floor and keep it there all the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Music to my ears. <laughs> On his man, I can feel it in my bones. He's gonna blitz somebody. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in a few short moments, it's going to be my pleasure to introduce you to the governors of three very important Western states. Each of move out because of a deep personal concern about the deterioration. Maritime commerce. Now, every man, woman, or child here knows that our westward expansion was due to great fleets of sailing ships. Well, Jeff, oh, there's the Queen Mary. Governor's press conference is. Oh, what the? Hey, the stream of planes cut it pretty close. I'm taking her over past the port bow so we can take a closer look. Very mics activated. Looks pretty normal down there. Try the zoom. Scan every possible place a person could hide. Well, that's not always a result of advancing technology, my friends. Sometimes it's the fault of poor management. <laughs> it's them. There's no way they're gonna stop us now. You see anything yet? Nothing that looks like it doesn't belong. Clowns. The clowns over there. That's them. Okay, Thunder. Apex has cleared you for the Queen Mary. Do you read? We're already here, Captain. It's going down. It's going down. Everybody, Everybody take cover. Everybody down. Here comes Bubba and Ski. <laughs> Open fire. Oh, 
Jeff will get us on a frequency so we can talk to that plane. Stream airplane 114, Victor. You are under federal arrest. Repeat, you are under federal arrest. You are to land immediately at the nearest airstrip. Acknowledge 114, Victor. If you fire upon us again, you will be shot down. No way, Blue Thunder. He's coming back around, Frank. rounds faster than you can say Iwo Jima. Jaffel, that's the fourth cup of coffee you poured yourself in the last five minutes. Oh, great. Now you guys are going to start calling me Jaffo, too? That, that's perfect. Thank you. Well, it kind of fits, little buddy. Listen, want a little advice about it, kid? Don't bother. Nobody scores with JJ. Nobody. Nobody? Why? It's a mystery in the Astro Division. Well, at least I won't have to worry about what we're going to name our first child. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Could I have a word with you? Sure. Uh, why don't you step in my office? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you take this lovely woman be your lawful. <laughs> I'm not sure where to begin. Um, I guess I'd just like to say congratulations and thank you. You performed a tremendous service today. It's all in a day's work, man. Don't be flipped, please. I mean it. I'll admit I had my doubts about you at first, but if you weren't exactly the kind of man you are, there'd be a lot of innocent people dead right now. I'm just glad we got there in time. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you. It's been very nice working with you. Counselor, you know I play hunches. A strong hunch we haven't seen the last of each other, not by a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> 